in a world divided by fear. <laughs> One man must stand alone. Will Smith, Ryan Reynolds, Catherine Zeta-Jones, <laughs> Toby Jones, <laughs> in Shima. Graham Norton's pants rated off. <laughs> What was it then you were recognized? Was it a honeymoon couple on a, on a plane? They were, uh, yeah, there was a couple on a, they were on a honeymoon, and the plane hadn't yet taken off, and the, um, the, the woman who just, had just gotten married uh, just became violently and horribly ill on the plane. I mean, it was not like a pretty little like sick bag kind of thing. It was just like, <laughs> I'm going to paint with my organs. Like, it was just <laughs> crazy. And people were freaking out all over the plane. And, the, and the, they're, they're, so they brought a stretcher down and they put her on the stretcher and they're wheeling her away. And like, the, the, uh, her, her new husband is just kind of cruising along with the thing and he sees me and he's like, Deadpool! <laughs> And I'm, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I don't, what do you, like, what has she got? Like, what's happening? Like, I don't wanna, you know, like, you know, like, he's like, let's touch eyeballs. Like, no, no, like, and by the way, your wife is like half dead. Help her, help her, man. Well, weren't you go to the border trying to Oh, lie? yeah, yeah, I was, I, I, my wife is a foodie. And she, we, she loves these uh, apple pies that they make at this, at this place in Vancouver where I grew up. So we grabbed a bunch of them and headed, we were driving back down to the States and we were crossing the border. You're not allowed to cross the border with like yeah, that's vegetables. Illegal. And that's that's illegal, illegal, right? Yeah, yeah it's illegal. But th and this guy knew something was going on and, and uh, we get up to the border crossing. Pie and, smugglers. You know, yeah, pie smugglers. I'm an actor. <laughs> act like, most, most like Hollywood actors, they have like a kilo of cocaine in the car. It's got pies. You know, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so. But he knew something was going on, right? Yeah, the pie face. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. The pie face. It's like yeah, a terrible, terrible line. Worst poker face. Worst pie face. face. <laughs> and, worst pie face ever. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, and uh, he, he says, uh, and I always, my voice always gets really high when I'm, when I'm like lying. He was like, you got anything, any, any sort of fruit, any vegetables, anything like that? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he, he, he just had me on the hook and he looked at me and he goes, Hey, I remember that, you, you remember that movie you did, that movie Just Friends? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, you know that song at the end of it where you sing that's I Swear by All For One? And I was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no. Basically, he was saying, dance, monkey. <laughs> I bet you dance. I dance. <laughs> Thing in the best yeah, false yeah. Yeah. And I was on my way to the border eating pie by the next stop. <laughs> Talking of uh, pumped up, you get to wear the suit. Yeah. Which is a nice, you know, kind of like I'm wearing a suit. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's sort of like a big red body condom. Yeah, but yeah, sure. But call it a suit, whatever you want. But Josh, like that it's really you that like Hey, you're... hey, hey! <laughs> I'm really in the suit, okay? I'm sorry. Right? You should like put the suit on sort of like like. It's just Wiggle like a team it. of people that get that thing on. Like and I'm always like so terrified I'll like throw up in the mask or something, you know? I have all these weird, oh, oh yes, sneeze. there's a lot sneeze of sneeze in the mask. I have you all did. the time. You have sneeze. I have one of those like that. scratches that you just... Yeah, no, down. nothing. There's nothing that can help. There's no space in that thing at all. When I put it on, I can actually taste my own genitals. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do they roll you in talc or something? Uh, I do, but yes. that's just that's just when I get home for my Love wife. The smell of lavender. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was obsessed with this this girl, uh, uh, Fiona Gorchinsky, mm. who uh, uh, she she, uh, <laughs> she, used, she used to, and she used to actually she used to take the bus the 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 opposite way of my actual home, and I would get on the bus just to sit next to her wow. for forty five minutes the wrong way. Oh, there's something wonderful about that. There was something that. wonderful. Yeah, I'm moronic. I, I, Up to I, a point. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love it when it, when you're young, it's so cute. When you're older, it's just stalking. It's stalking. <laughs> you're like on some kind of watch list. And you're, yeah. Yeah, but, but I remember when I was, I couldn't have been more than, I don't know, 11 years old. And I, and I, I was just about to get off the bus because enough is enough. I'm about to enter like Seattle or something. So <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get off the bus and I decided to like kind of hit her with like this cool look or something like this, like one of these like real yeah. sort of Don Johnson, Miami Vice kind of things. Let me feel it, let me feel it, let me feel it. <laughs> right? You feel that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I threw, I, I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 do this, I do this move as I'm getting down off the bus, and I sort of delay a little too long, and mm. the bus doors close on my backpack. Oh. Oh. On my backpack. And the bus just starts to leave. <laughs> I'm 
sort of like doing this like job, like banging on the side of the bus. The bus driver finally stops, opens the door, lets releases my you know idiot bag backpack, and I I could never look at her again. Yeah, Aww. yeah, that was terrible. Aww. Yeah, well, she's really looking terrible. at you now. Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> Can you imagine? She's like, he's the guy with the backpack. <laughs> Ryan. No, I had no, nothing but he to had. do with no, that. No, for sure you did, because it was very indirect. You were in that bathroom, admit it. I was, I filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. And like, did you run it past uh, Josh that you were going to involve his, his stepmom in the movie? Oh, yeah, Barbara Streisand? No, no, I didn't talk to Josh about no, that at all. No, he just said, yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he thought I was kidding. I was I, like, no, I did. Yeah. And then there was, I can't really talk about it. There was a point where I heard the song, can I say when? Yeah, the song, yeah. Coming the, out of your mouth? Yeah, the Papa, Papa, can you hear Right, me? coming out of your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> keep keep yeah. going. No, no, I, I've grown. Pop. <laughs> Papa, do you see me? <laughs> it's like when Papa, you Papa, can it? you find me <laughs> in the night? <laughs> Yentl, it's right? Very, it's... You've seen Yentl, not Goonies? Come on! <laughs> But actually, very quickly, before we say another thing, I should just say, uh, if you are a Zayn Malik fan, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. No, because you, you were upset. Ryan was upset. I was. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw your, with your, your, your tweet. <laughs> I, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> no, I was hurt, you know? He, Zayn Malik's really making me regret the Zayn Malik tattoo I have on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan tweeted when he heard the news of the cancellation. Zane is not on the Graham Norton show with me anymore. I'll still go, but obviously I got my lips done for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Ryan, the thing about you growing up, I love that you told stories about growing up because your dad, it was like he was training you for paparazzi. He kind was very yeah. snap happy. Yeah, he was. I was actually the saddest moment in our, in our childhood, and these are uptown problems, was when they switched from film to digital. Because to my father, that was just like every day was the lottery. I mean, it was amazing because you could just take pictures and pictures and pictures, thousands of them. It could be the, like thousands of pictures of just a meatloaf that's blurry. <laughs> and what he would do is at the end of the night, he would email everyone in the family all the, all the photographs. that as well. Yeah, but the, the thing is, this is back when, like, the internet was made of a fax machine of wood. Like, it was just... <laughs> Absolutely. Like yeah. went... And then you would download all of these things, and like you like it was so much material to download, you'd feel like the lights dim in your home. <laughs> like, yeah, this must be costing a fortune. And I got I used to say to him, I was like, Dad, can you stop? You don't need to piss on every photo. Like, we don't need to see the blurry photo of the ceiling you took when you like just edit yourself. <laughs> Never did. So after a while, and I I I mean I deeply regret this now. <laughs> As, a, as an adult male, I have deep regrets of what I did. But I would take the camera sometimes in the middle of dinner and I'd just go in the bathroom and I'd just, I did. just grab a quick shot of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd email it to everybody, Nana, <laughs> Aunt Kathy, Uncle Tim, uh, Gramps got a few of those. Um, they what, think it was his, though. Um, no, I, well, that was his concern, which is what actually, in a, in a weird way, made the whole thing work for me. So after that, he became a strict editor. So you'd get just two <laughs> lovely family photos at the end of an evening, not 60,000 shots of a, nice. of a, you know, mashed potato. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And a penis. And a penis. Yes. Yeah. This has been a, a labor of love getting yes. this made. Yeah, it's, it's been the, the best and worst relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> it's 11 years. 11 years I've been trying to get this movie made. Oh, and, wow. uh, and, you, you know, we, we, we wrote a, we had a script. We did that about six years ago. Then we did a little bit of test footage for this movie. Uh, that test footage sat on a shelf at Fox for four years. And then uh, about a year and a half ago, somebody accidentally leaked it on the Internet. Was which that was, you? Was that super you? crazy. Wow. Oh, no, I'm not going to do with that, yeah. I'm not going to do with very, that. Very, very, very yeah. un-Canadian of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My mom was like, what does this button do? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're making the movie now. Uh, and it just went nuts. The people just started writing and flooding Fox with uh, uh, begging and pleading for the, for the Deadpool movie to get made. And they, within 24 hours, we had a green light. And we were making it. We were wow. certain, yeah, it was we're that quick. It was that quick. They just, it was so undeniable. And it, was a, it felt, felt really good. Or, but 
also, you must be quite pissed off that, you know, what, you couldn't make that decision for yourself? Yes, I, exactly. Yeah. We tried, we tried and tried and tried, but the fans got it made. So there's, there's a great story, too, that this is yeah. totally fan-driven in every I, I way. Guess people who don't know, they'll be thinking, why, why wouldn't the studio want to make this movie? It's a superhero movie. Everyone loves yeah. that. And it is a superhero movie, and it's got all those things. Yeah. But it does also have this kind of indie movie sensibility totally. yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, a kind of edginess. Yeah. Well, it's, it's meta. I mean, the character knows he's in a comic book movie, but he works in the X-Men universe, so he's mm. dealing with other X-Men. He's talking about other X-Men. He's be making jokes about Ryan Reynolds. I mean, it's very, it's, 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 you know, and it's rated R, which is unusual for, you know, Marvel X-Men type movie. It's, yeah. I think it's Certificate 15 here in, in the UK. Yeah, we can and, take and, it. We yes, in it. China, <laughs> and in China, it's rated Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> Over here, stealing the thunder is Andrew Garfield and Ryan... <laughs> and Reynolds. So, are you going to do it at the Oscars? <laughs> it was a ridiculous thing. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I said to Ryan Reynolds... If you win, kiss, kiss me instead of your wife. And, and, <laughs> and he said, yeah, that's great. And, he, th th and the plan was is that he would kind of move, move towards his wife and then, and then kind of last minute move towards me. <laughs> and then he didn't win, much to our disappointment. I said to, I said to we could still just do it. <laughs> And he, was, and he was game. But I, and I love the fact that it was so deep in the background. So you, you kind of have to kind of look to, to see if it, it was actually... Yeah. 